Hey everybody, this is Bob Kovacs and today I want to take a look at the cameras in the HTC Thunderbolt on the left versus the iPhone 4. This is the Verizon version of the iPhone 4 here on the right. So we got the Thunderbolt on the left and the iPhone 4 on the right. They both have cameras. They both have pretty competent cameras. They both also have front-facing cameras. Now I'm not going to go into the front-facing camera today, but on the back the HTC Thunderbolt over here has got an 8 megapixel camera and it can also do HD video and as you see there it has dual LED flashes. Here on the right the Apple iPhone has got a 5 megapixel still image camera with a single LED flash. As I said both of these phones can do um, HD 720p HD video. I took a series of three shots. The first was with a couple of co-workers. That's Luis on the left and Jen on the right. Right here in the office we're just using standard office lighting. As you can see there's some outside light streaming in behind them so that makes it kind of a tricky situation. So I wanted you to see the flesh tones. The focus here is not all that great. Uh, they're a little soft. In fact um, here on the Thunderbolt, it looks as though it might have focused on the coat rack behind Luis and not actually on Luis's face. Although when I took the shot, they did have boxes around their faces indicating that the, the camera and the phone had in fact found them. So let's uh, take a look at the same photo on the Apple iPhone. And it really isn't a lot different. The iPhone picture looks a little bluer, a little less true color perhaps. Um, of the two perhaps the Thunderbolt is the more pleasing picture but it's not really wonderful. Then I have a shot of some things I set up on my desk, a coffee mug and some stuff just to show the colors. Again the focus wasn't spectacular. There's some noise in the shot on the Thunderbolt and there's also some noise in the shot on the Apple iPhone. So uh, neither of them seem to focus particularly well. Not really all that good. Uh, but again the lighting in this situation is low for both of these cameras and they both uh, you know show the effects of that. Now keep in mind that these are not dedicated cameras. These are phones not dedicated cameras. So a dedicated camera, a device that is intended to be used as primarily a camera is going to take better pictures. Uh, but of course a phone, uh, or rather a camera can't make phone calls or uh, surf the internet. The third picture I took was of a holly bush outside in the direct sun and both of those pictures came out looking very good. Sharp and clear, low noise. Of the two, if you zoom in on the 8 megapixel shot of the HTC Thunderbolt, the clarity is really very, very nice. There's a point on one of the holly leaves that's just crystal clear on the Thunderbolt. Now it's not bad on the iPhone 4. Uh, but it's not nearly as good when you zoom in all the way as it is on the Thunderbolt. So in bright light, the clear winner to me was the Thunderbolt. Taking a look at the video, the video looks pretty good from both of these. It seemed to focus a little bit faster in the iPhone, and uh, but actually just kind of looked pretty good on both of these phones. Okay, shooting some video with the HTC Thunderbolt. This is a holly bush. And again, we have the Verizon building. Excuse me, the Verizon building, the Wirefly building. And I'm panning across. There's some sort of construction vehicle. Some clouds up in the blue sky, but generally a pretty nice day and still some breeze kicking up. Probably enough to make the microphone rumble some. Okay, this is a holly tree here on the Wirefly campus in Northern Virginia. That's the Wirefly building. I'm shooting this with the Verizon iPhone 4. It's a beautiful early spring day, a little cool, and there's a lot of breeze. Probably just enough to really make the microphone here on the phone have a lot of rumble. So that is a look at the video and uh, still image capability of the HTC Thunderbolt versus the iPhone 4. I'm Bob Kovacs here at Wirefly. Thanks for watching.